What's up, brother? How are we doing? How's it going? You going back to sleep once we're done with this? Oh, God. Oh, God, yeah. All right. Well, I got Baylor up at the butt crack of dawn because today I found a nice reef tank on OfferUp, and I thought it would be a good addition to the tank. So what we're going to do is I figured I could show you guys this tank first. Who's coming in my house? Who's this? This tank's looking good. Everybody's curious. Everyone's happy. Everyone's doing good. Everyone's swimming around. Everyone's jolly. Just like Baylor on the couch. It's a good, good time. So we're going to go over there. We're going to pick up this tank. Hopefully it's not uh, too big of a deal. I won't film it because, uh, well, we went over there and looked at it the other day, me and Baylor, and it's, uh, it's quite an interesting situation. It's uh, a damn ceiling, huh? We went over there the other day, and it was quite interesting. The guy had like eight pigs running around inside the house uh, and a bunch of other stuff going on. It was, it was interesting, to say the least. But, oh, Baylor got smoked. So either way, we're going to run over there, pick up this tank, and then we'll pick this back up once we're back at the house. Augie's here now, too. What's what? Oh, there's the water in <laughs> Zach, it's a fish tank, bud. No, I thought there was. Oh glass no, 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 top. no! There's no, it's there's no so lid. Still, yeah. I didn't know it was water. Yeah, it's a nice tank, man. I, I built that. This is our tank we got. Uh, it's it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad at the same time. Here, we gotta open this sucker up. It's already got blue painted on the back, so I'm not a huge fan of the blue. But I've never had a blue back tank, so hopefully that'll be new. Came with a sump. Over there, you getting those lights and everything out that it came with, or what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta get it. What the heck? And the other stuff is all in here. It came with a whole bunch of stuff. So all the plumbing that was from it. Uh, there's a skimmer in here. We got some lights back over there. Some chemicals. A little bit of everything. This thing actually came with a whole bunch of stuff. Who's rocking my truck right now? I'm trying to pull it out. Oh, how's that going? Not too good. Oh, uh, I'm thinking about just setting it probably <laughs> over there in the garage for right now. Just long ways. I gotta pull all these off. So we gotta figure out. A good way to do this real quick. We got to rip all this plumbing out so we can set it on its booty here. So let's cut these off and then I guess bring her in. All right. Oh, hey, I was going. You trying to grab my schnitzel? <laughs> oh my God. Why are you trying to grab my weenie? Anyway, what you think of this sucker? It's a little heavy. She's heavy. She ain't light, no sir. Uh, I gotta look up a concoction on how to get all the coralline algae out, uh, really to clean it all out fully. We gotta pull out everything out of the back of the truck still. Rip. Forgot about that. Let's start doing that. And uh, I gotta figure out how to clean this thing out. We'll fill it up with the stuff. I'm actually gonna let it sit in there for however long they recommend to really clean everything out fully. Give it a whole wash down, scrub down, whatever it does to get scratches out. I know there's certain little ways to help with the little hairline hair scratches. We'll get all that done. I'll gonna pull out all our stuff and then we'll go through everything that we got. All right. So so Baylor actually came in clutch. Well, look at all Baylor's nice snook trophies. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. Either way, Baylor brought us a nice hoverboard over. Heck yeah, good stuff. So this is what we got. A thing full of chemicals. This is actually a thing for a heater and a chiller. It uh, it helps regulate your temperature and all that. You can There's a probe in there somewhere. But we have a foundation multi-pro test something. We got a little refractometer, some purple up, which is coralline algae accelerator. Uh, what else is in here? Some Revive Coral Cleaner, some whatever that is, some Iodine, some Balance, some Reef Complete stuff. I don't even know what's going on. Dang, Zach's flying around right now, by the way. Uh, we got two of these lights, which I don't know the specific brand. They're called Watt Shine. So if you guys want to look those up, you let me know how much those are worth. They're, uh, that's the model on them, if you want to know it. And then over here, we got a little Reef Octopus skimmer. It's actually pretty big one. It's perfect size. There's some wave makers in here, heater, some of the old from the overflow pipes, which I'm just going to get rid of. A whole bunch of stuff is actually down in there. I think this is a, some type of reactor. I don't know what it is. But there's all that stuff. They're having a good... Really? What was that? Do that again? Oh god, yeah, you're killing it. That's everything it came with. Hope oh, and, and the sump's down there as well. I'll show you guys the sump once we get it all cleaned out. But I'm gonna look up how to clean this thing out, figure out the best way to clean it, and I'll pick up the camera once we're cleaning. <laughs> oh yeah, it's been uh, it's, it's it's been like a month since we got this tank, and uh, you know, hey, better late than pregnant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so this morning I went to Home Depot and I got us some wood, all right? What we're doing with this wood is we got to build the stand. I also got to build the stand, I got to clean the tank, got to clean the sump. I uh, haven't done anything with it and uh, 
It came with all the supplies that uh, I'm not using whatsoever. Actually, I'm using one of the things. It's actually, uh, or two of the things actually. It's a wave maker and a light. The light is actually on Kevin's tank, the flower horn inside, and so is that wave maker. They're both on his tank, so that's pretty neat. But I went and got wood, all right? I'm gonna try and give you guys the best pricing as I can uh, throughout this. So I got the tank, the tank that's over here with everything that came with it for 100, 150 bucks. I think is what it was. It was 150 bucks. Then I went and bought wood, uh, which you guys will see that I'm using to build the stand. Oh, the wood, uh, the muratic acid uh, to clean the sump, uh, paint, screws, a new drill bit, uh, a bunch of stuff like that. So a bunch of little things. And I spent $86 on all of that. So somehow I got all this wood and all that other stuff for 86 bucks. I got a heck of a deal at Home Depot uh, on all this wood. And, and I'll show you guys, it's it's definitely, it's older, it's been weathered. Um, it is treated, so that's cool. And it also is, uh, it, it just looks like a beaver just went crazy on it. But I didn't really care because it's just for the stand and I'm gonna wrap it anyway. So doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna hide it with, uh, you know, magic, my, my magic skills. So for today, we are, we are actually building the stand. We're cleaning out the tank. It's over here, if you guys can see it. I, I don't know, something like that, but you know. Uh, yeah, so we're going to, uh, probably what we're gonna do first is rinse out this, uh, this sump. It's pretty nasty. And we're gonna rinse it out. And then after rinsing it out, we are going to then uh, fill it completely with water. And then about four to five cups of this acid stuff. Hopefully that works. My neighbors are looking at me like I'm crazy. All right, well, instead of making myself look crazy anymore, I'm going to, uh, you know, get, get to doing that stuff, you know? Yeah. All right, everybody, we got it completely full here and uh, I kind of just guesstimated on how much of the acid to put in there and uh, now it's just gonna have to soak for the next few hours for the most part that's pretty much it so on to we're gonna do the stand now uh, and if anyone's curious this is the acid I use muriatic or muriatic or however you're supposed to say it it uh, apparently burns the skin pretty good so don't put it near your skin basically is all all you got to worry about but hopefully this uh, will clear it up it's an acrylic sump if anyone is curious and uh, I'm not too sure the brand make model or anything like that all I know is it's acrylic but either way and it came with the tank so that was pretty cool uh, another thing I did go pick up was uh, this other skimmer and this Apex system. If anyone's curious, this is the newer Apex system as well. These newer ones are like $1,000, just under $1,000. I got it for $350, uh, again, off of OfferUp. So we're just winning all around on OfferUp right now. Only thing I need now is uh, return pumps and lights are like the two main things. Obviously, I need sand, rock, water, all that stuff, which all that will be coming in an upcoming video. Uh, the time I'm recording this, it is uh, Tuesday. And on Saturday is when uh, Brad's gonna come over and actually plumb everything for me, get it all set up. Obviously I will film all of that for you guys, but as of right now, this is what we're doing to get prepared for this Saturday. So we're gonna take, this is all extra scrap wood right now. So as of right now, this is just extra. Uh, this is gonna be the height of the stand. So the height of it is gonna be that, which is 40 inches if anyone is curious. And then uh, I did an inch longer than the tank. Actually, I did two inches longer than the tank uh, with the frame. Uh, it's technically, it's a six foot tank, but with the frame, it's a little more, um, but I did 74 uh, inch a wide so uh, you'll have about a little like a finger length on this side and about a finger length on that side of overhang that way it can have a I didn't really want it to get bumped a little bit and then it scoots just a smidge and then it falls off the stand fully you know so this is kind of my little fail safe deal so the only thing I do have to do is I do have to cut these still uh, this is actually scrap of this I took eight foot pieces and cut them down and then this is my extra which this will go in between here and this other side right there so that is a uh, what we're gonna have to cut here next. So what we're gonna do actually, is we're going to lay out the wood and uh, start screwing some pieces in. Who's honking? Somebody horny out here? For right now, all we gotta do is uh, just get this stand figured out. I will cut it, get it all put together and show you guys the finished product at the end. Hopefully by the time we're done with that, I'm going to paint the stand actually black and then I'm going to wrap the stand in actually a gray. It's a little different, uh, but I'm gonna try and match the gray with the couch to kind of tie in that gray into the house. But uh, probably by then this acid should be all soaked and uh, hopefully all of this will just get poured right out 
and not have any issues with uh, staining or anything like that. I'm hoping it cleans up like new, so we'll see. But that's enough of me rambling. You guys probably heard enough of that. Let's uh, get to constructing this state. everybody we are done with the stand so this is what it looks like what i did is i took the length at the very bottom there and uh put a support beam here this one runs all the way down and then i put another one here so that when all the weight is on this top board it has something to rest against as long as this all stays still same thing with this cross beam here all of these have some extra support these i don't really think are going to be too necessary these two but you know, if there comes a need for them, they're there. I'd rather have them than not have them, basically. And then uh, over here is ridiculously supported. There's, this thing's rock. Like, it doesn't even wobble, really. I mean, I can tilt it, but... Like, as you can see, it's pretty freaking solid. So, this thing is basically done. Uh, I have some black spray paint. I'm going to spray paint it black. Um, don't really think you guys really care much about that process, but uh, that's what I'm doing. I was going to take all these old pi pi pilots, pilots, pallets that I have and uh, lay the wood across the top here to have it like a, just a completed finish kind of thing. But then realized uh, these things are ridiculously a pain to get out unless you have like a jigsaw. I don't have a jigsaw here. So I'm not even bothered with them. I'm actually just gonna throw these pallets out unless you guys want them. If you guys want them, you come pick them up. But I'm done with these pallets. I, there's no point. So not really too worried about that. And then, uh, yeah, so I just have to paint this real quick and then uh, once I'm done painting it, I will empty out this sump and see how clean it ends up becoming. As you can see, there's already a lot of stuff floated up to the top. It is looking cleaner, but uh, only time will tell when you rinse it out to really know how clean it came out. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this, and then uh, we'll check out that sump. And then there's really not much. I don't have to clean anything on the tank. Uh, I probably, I might paint the back of it black instead of blue. Uh, let me show you guys the tank real quick. So this is it. You know, they have all this Coraline algae. I'm not even gonna bother. It, it's too much of a pain to get off. This is like a plastic, so I can't even use a razor blade because the razor blade just digs into it. It's basically, it's just gonna stay. I mean, there's, it doesn't hurt anything. It's more or less for my personal like looks is really all it was. But they have this black on the back, or the blue on the back. And uh, it's basically, it's just a peel and stick kind of thing. So I may pull it off and uh, paint it over in black, but I don't know, I may leave the blue. I don't have a tank with a blue background. Maybe that's, Something I need to add into the arsenal. Either way, we are going to, uh, let's get this thing painted. I'll toss around some more ideas about painting the back of this thing. If I do, if I don't, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So either way, let's, uh, let's get to paint. Voila, she's painted black. Woohoo. Now, on to this time to i'm going to siphon it out i have this hose right here so i'm going to suck a little bit let it siphon out as much as i can to where then i can tip it lay it on its side and spray it out that way hopefully it's nice and shiny clean and helps my cleanliness of this operation well all i can say is wow this thing is night and day difference. Like I would put fish in here, it's that clear. Like, I mean, obviously it's scratched up on the bottom there and stuff like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's a sump. It holds water, doesn't leak, and it, uh, it cleaned up pretty nicely. So, hey, I cannot complain about that. Like this is my hand on the other side of it. You can't even really tell there's glass there, or I guess I should say acrylic. This thing, is, I, it turned out that uh, it is actually a trigger system. So, I've never heard of trigger systems in their sumps or any of their things. So if you guys know more about them, let me know in the comments below. But uh, this is something that didn't even know how to name. I thought it was just like a custom made one thrown together, no label, no nothing. But turns out once you clean something up, you find a little more about it. So hey, it's a win-win. But I think uh, there's a nice little smudge on you guys here. Let me, uh... oh yeah, now you're clean. For today, I mean, I think we're about good. You know, I, I'm, I don't think I need to do much else today. I think uh, maybe tomorrow I'll come out and uh, I'll drain this tank all the way uh, and do kind of the same process just without the acid, uh, really just water and scrub it. 
hopefully we can clean this thing up as much as we can. Uh, I can't do it today because I'm here by myself. Baylor's sick, so I can't even steal him. Worst comes to worst, I'll uh, have to just drag it across the ground on its frame, but not a big deal. But this is about it for the frame as well for the stand. And uh, this will be the back side, and then over here will be the front side, so you guys can see here. And then uh, I'm gonna wrap it completely. I don't know if I'm gonna do two big doors, so you can open them entirely, or uh, or what. One thing I didn't check that I'm just now thinking of is will this sump even fit inside? Like, will it sit inside there, or do I gotta put a shelf on the bottom for it? Uh-oh, here, hang on one second. Well, uh, we got an issue. The sump doesn't fit in this frame. So what we're gonna have to do is, looks like I'm gonna have to pull this out and this over and either pull it left or pull it right, depending on where I want all the plumbing to go and decide whether I want the sump on this side or on that side, uh, cause we gotta shift this over literally like this much, not, not much at all, uh, but it does fit in here, this part it fits. It doesn't fit any way else though. So that part didn't think that through. So, and this part right here is too skinny for it to squeeze in there. Otherwise I'd just set this right on top of it, but that doesn't work either. So that's a task for another day because I don't really feel like dealing with that today. So I'm gonna let actually all this paint dry. That way it's easier. Uh, I'm not dealing with sticky paint and stuff. So we'll wait for another day to do that. But that is about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Leave some comments in the description down below for anything that I should add to this tank, fish I should get, coral I should get, because this is gonna be my new reef tank. So if you guys have anything, please leave it down there below. I love you all and goodbye.